in a previous video we talked about the roadmap planner for Confluence and how we could use that one to uh, present a roadmap uh, for a product, for example. And in this video we're going to take a look at how we can actually embed an entire Jira roadmap from a project and place it in Confluence. Uh, so you can actually inherit the roadmap plan that is already existing in Jira. So let's jump into Confluence and see what that one looks like. So here we are now in Confluence and let's, as always we create a new page and we call this one the Jira Roadmap and maybe I should spell it correctly. There we go. And we add the macro and we can do Jira and you will get different Jira and we have one called Jira Roadmap. So the first thing we need to do then is to uh, tell which URL and what instance of Jira we want to use and I already have mine predefined. And then we select a project, we select the flexible Atlassian setup and we select the board. And then you will get an overview uh, of what that uh, Jira Roadmap actually looks like. And if we save this one here, then we can actually, uh, we can drag this one out if we want and resize it to, so it fits the entire one. And then we publish this one. And what we will see then on the Confluence page is basically an iframe and that is showing us just this part of the Jira project. And up in the top you will have the link, so if I click this one I will actually go to the Jira project itself. And I will also have full functionality of searching. I can filter based on who is assigned. I can do the status categories and version and so on. And also manage the view settings. And I can see all the items here, but they are not clickable. So I cannot go from here to the actual items themselves. And at the bottom, you will also have the ability then to make sure that you are if you have scrolled here, if you go over here, for example, we don't have anything and you click on today, it will snap back to today's date. And you can also select if you want to have weeks or if you select, well, let's just quarters, then it will be very small. And months, I seem to not be able to click on that one for some reasons. There we go, months. It was a little bit fidgety. And you will also see the different sprints and everything else that you accept, uh, ac expect from the Jira roadmap itself. So this is also a way to bring in Jira uh, and show the roadmap from a Jira perspective, from a, uh, an operational perspective, rather than the roadmap planner that you can use for a more strategic uh, view. So that's how you can use the Geo Roadmap, and I hope you uh, find this one useful. And if you like content like this, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel, because I will produce more short videos like this one uh, for different functionality in Jira, uh, in Confluence, and your search management in the future. So until next time, have a great day.